one thing you might feel is a little bit scary is uh, spending money to make money kind of a thing. But um, you really, you know, even if you have to get like a part-time job and save up all you can to sort of get that sort of initial nest egg. Like when I first self-published Curse Pirate Girl, I did it through an online company. It was called ComicsPress.com. And um, it was, uh, it's a pretty good company. It was $1.50 for a 36 page book, black and white. So I really, you know, I had a part-time job working at an art supply store. I saved up that money. I printed out 200 copies and I, um, you know, went out to a, a convention outside of my hometown. So I had to, you know, buy the table. I had to buy a hotel room and all that stuff. But I, I knew what I was getting into and I saved up for it. And I didn't make that much of that show, but that's part of it. You know, um, hopefully each show you do is a little bit better than the last. I can remember my very first show, I had only a sketchbook and I sold two of them and one was to my mom and one was to my cousin. So I didn't make really anything of that show. But just the initial plunge of I'm going to be on this side of the table and I'm going to try and bring you something new. Like you have to, if that's your dream, then you have to work on it and you have to save up for it. And 